सो टू मिक्स डिजाइन द कंक्रीट यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट द प्रीरिक्विजिट क्राइटेरिया दैट मीन्स द ग्रेड ऑफ कंक्रीट यू नीड टू प्रोड्यूस द टाइप ऑफ सीमेंट यू आर गोइंग टू यूज द ग्रेड ऑफ एग्रीगेट मैक्सिमम साइज ऑफ एग्रीगेट ओके एंड ऑल्सो इन लास्ट वीडियोज यू हैव लर्न अबाउट एक्सपोजर ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट दैट मीन्स इन हुई एनवायरमेंट फॉर हुई एनवायरमेंट यू आर गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस योर कॉन्क्रीट ओके नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट द मिनिमम एंड मैक्सिमम अमाउंट ऑफ सीमेंट हुई नीड टू बी यूज इन योर मिक्स डिजाइन सो माई फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वाई यू नीड टू फिक्स ए मिनिमम सीमेंट क्राइटेरिया एंड वाई यू नीड टू लिमिट द मैक्सिमम अमाउंट ऑफ सीमेंट यूज these are my two question so first minimum cement criteria is come from the durability point of view what is durability point of view i have already told you that for a civil engineer there are two criteria for any design one is strength criteria next is durability criteria now durability means that if you are producing a structure or if you are making a product that needs to be Yes, that the quality which need to be sufficient to make the product eligible for servicing its lifestyle life span. That means if you suppose uh, if you constructing a bridge and its design life is fifty years. Now your construction material should be such that it doesn't deteriorate before fifty years. Okay, that is its durability point of view. okay so from durability point of view your minimum cement content criteria is fixed okay what is that this is based on your exposure that's why i have made a separate video for exposure only this is how exposure define your mixed design okay based on exposure your minimum cement content is depend and also based on your exposure maximum water cement ratio is also depend okay i'll talk uh, about this water cement ratio in detail in another video for this video the minimum cement content for mild weather you can see this is 220 kg and for extreme condition it is 280 kg so what does it indicate it means if more aggressive the weather it obviously affect your concrete it obviously affect the cementitas uh, element of your concrete so you should use it more so that if even some amount of cement or cementitas material or csa gel in the concrete affected by the weather the rest will take care about the durability okay now come to the next question what is the maximum before that there is another type of exposure i have already shared in the videos of exposure that is sixth type of exposure and it is the exposure to sulfate for it there is a different table in the indian standard code and this table also indicate if there is certain concentration of sulfate in the uh, exposed weather that means in the water or in the ground Uh, in the soil so which type of cement you need to use and also with that how much should be the minimum cement content if more sulfate is there in the soil or the water in that case you may have to use polythene sheet as a lining that means first uh, spread the polythene sheet on the ground then you start your casting either you may also use this asphalt coating or epoxy coating in the member to save your concrete from this sulfate attacking component okay now second question was what should be the minimum maximum cement content as per is 456 it should be 450 kg why it should be 450 kg provided that your cement doesn't contain any flies or blast furnace slag this type of uh, things are used in uh, psc cement or portland slag cement okay or flies is used in PPC or Pozzolana uh, Portland cement. Okay, so this 450 is limit for OPC cement. So why this? You may say that economic point. 
if i use less more uh, cement abruptly our design may uh, become uneconomic no durability point no for durability only you have to maintain minimum uh, cement content criteria then this is from chemistry point of view if you use more amount of cement more than the requirement what will happen when the cement or the concrete will dry it will shrink shrink mean it will try to short shorten more cement means more shrink and when it will try to sink there is a crack this cement try to shrink this side and this cement try to sink say this side and this is your element what will happen there will be shrinkage crack at the top it is not at all desirable crack and second next point is your early th thermal cracking what is thermal cracking if you more if you use more cement obviously there will be more more hydration and more hydration mean more generation of heat so outer surface become cool quickly but inner surface of the uh, element remain hot so obviously there is a thermal gradient which actually uh, increase the thermal cracking or which induce fast the thermal stress and this thermal stress uh, induce the thermal cracking and third reason is your damage due to alkali aggregate reaction if you increase the cement quantity then the aggregate component which is silicon dioxide okay this a silicon dioxide or aggregate component get try to combine with the cementitas component and that means your aggregate is actually deteriorating that's why you need to limit the maximum cement content in your concrete